Hope you all are staying home and taking precautions from COVID-19. Today we are going to start a new lesson from English Junction and the name of the lesson is The Parrot Who Wouldn't Talk. Before moving on, I would like to go to the main idea of this lesson. Having a pet is not just a fun. A pet needs proper care and attention. If it has to be trained, there is a proper way of doing it. The story conveys a beautiful message that pets also have feelings and emotions. They too understand real affection and respond accordingly. The Parrot Who Wouldn't Talk is a humorous story written by Ruskin Bond. In this lesson, the author's aunt decides to keep a parrot as a pet. She also decides to teach him how to talk. How successful is she in her effort? Let's find out. When I was growing up in Masuri, almost all our neighbors kept a pet parrot or parakeet. Sometimes these birds would learn to talk. They would say things like, study child study or don't be greedy, don't be greedy. These words and phrases were of course learned after some member of the household had repeated them many times in front of the bird. But our parrot refused to talk. He had been bought by Aunt Ruby from a bird catcher who visited all the houses on our road. Grandmother and grandfather did not want a caged bird as a pet, but Aunt Ruby insisted. So she bought the parrot and tried to teach him to talk, but the parrot did not like her at all. Kiss, kiss, Aunt Ruby would say, putting her face close to the bars of the cage. But the parrot moved back, his beady eyes getting smaller with anger. One day he lunged forward and pushed my aunt's spectacles off her nose. After that, Aunt Ruby did not like the parrot anymore. She started making faces at him and calling out, You are useless, can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. Grandfather, Grandmother then put me in charge of feeding the parrot. He was quite happy to take green chilies, pieces of papaya and ripe tomatoes from my hands. I also gave him slices of mango. This gave me a chance to eat a few mangoes while feeding the parrot. One afternoon while everyone was in the dining room, I gave the parrot his lunch. By mistake, I left the cage door open. Seconds later, the bird flew away to sit on the mango tree. At the same time, Grandfather came to the veranda and said, I see your aunt's parrot has escaped. Escape means free. I am very sorry. I left the door open by mistake, I said. Aunt Ruby was upset. She wanted to buy another parrot. We promised to buy her a bowl of goldfish instead. Instead means rather. I thought that we would never see the parrot again. But maybe he missed his green chilies. A few days later, I found the bird sitting on the veranda railing and looking at me. Unselfishly, I gave him half my mango. Just then, Aunt Ruby came outside and cried out, Look, it's my parrot. He must have missed me. Quickly, the parrot flew to the nearest rose bush. He looked angrily at my aunt and shrieked, You are useless, can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. Aunt Ruby turned ruby red and ran inside. The parrot became a regular visitor to our garden. Whenever he saw Aunt Ruby, he would call out, You are useless, can't talk, can't sing, and can't dance. The parrot had learned to talk after all. Now let's go through the word meaning from the lesson. Parakeet, a small bird of the parrot family, usually with long tail, insisted, said firmly that she wanted to buy the parrot. BD, small, round and bright, watching everything closely. Lunged, 
moved forward suddenly to catch or attack something making faces at him she was moving her mouth nose and eyes in strange way to show that she did not like the parrot railing fence made of metal or wooden bars unselfishly in a way that shows that he cares about others and not just himself shrieked spoke in a loud high voice turned ruby red aunt ruby's face turned red because she was feeling ashamed after all used when someone is unable to do or say something after not being able to do or say it